Hey there, and welcome back to Being Financially. If you've ever wondered why your credit score isn't as high as you'd like, despite paying your bills on time, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into a critical yet often misunderstood aspect of credit management credit utilization. So, whether you're just starting your credit journey or looking to fine tune your credit habits, stick around because we've got actionable tips that will set you up for success. Are you ready to take control of your financial future? It's time to master credit utilization and gain the knowledge you need to monitor and manage your credit effectively. In this comprehensive guide, we will walk you through the ins and outs of credit utilization, empowering you to make informed decisions and take charge of your credit score. Credit utilization is a crucial factor that lenders consider when assessing your credit worthiness. It represents the percentage of your available credit that you are currently using. Monitoring this utilization rate is essential because it greatly impacts your credit score. By keeping your credit utilization low, typically below 30%, you demonstrate responsible credit management and increase your chances of obtaining future credit. So how can you effectively monitor and manage your credit utilization? The key is to stay informed and develop sound financial habits. Let's explore some strategies that will help you on your journey to credit mastery. First and foremost, regularly check your credit reports. You are entitled to a free credit report from each of the three major credit bureaus every year. Take advantage of this valuable resource and review your reports for accuracy and discrepancies. By identifying errors, potential fraud, or suspicious activity, you can address them promptly and protect your credit score. Another excellent way to monitor your credit utilization is by using credit monitoring services or apps. These tools provide real-time updates on your credit score and other important factors, such as credit inquiries. With this information at your fingertips, you can stay on top of any changes and quickly address any potential issues. Once you have a solid grasp of your credit utilization, it's time to focus on managing it effectively. Start by paying your bills on time every time. Late or missed payments can have a significant negative impact on your credit score and increase your credit utilization. Set up automatic payments or reminders to ensure you never miss a due date. Additionally, consider paying more than the minimum payment required. By doing so, you lower your outstanding balances faster, keeping your credit utilization in check. It's also worthwhile to prioritize paying off high interest debts first, as this can save you money in the long run. Lastly, be careful when applying for new credit. Each new credit application results in a hard inquiry. On your credit report, which can temporarily lower your credit score and affect your credit utilization. Therefore, only apply for credit when necessary and avoid multiple applications within a short period. By following these guidelines, you can become a master of credit utilization and take control of your credit. Remember, monitoring and managing your credit is an ongoing process that requires discipline, but the rewards are worth it. You'll be well on your way to financial freedom and achieving your goals. As we navigate the complex world of personal finance, it's vital to understand the importance of credit utilization and how to get it right. Credit utilization refers to the percentage of your available credit that you actually use. In simple terms, it's the amount of credit you have borrowed compared to the total credit available to you. Why is credit utilization important? Well, your credit utilization plays a significant role in determining your credit score, which is a crucial factor when it comes to applying for loans, mortgages, or even renting an apartment. Lenders and financial institutions use your credit score to assess your credit worthiness and determine the level of risk involved in lending to you. To get credit utilization right, you need to aim for a low utilization rate. Generally, financial experts recommend keeping your credit utilization under 30% of your total credit limit. For example, if you have a credit card with a limit of $10, you should try to keep your balance under 3000 So how can you achieve this optimal credit utilization rate? Here are a few tips. Regularly monitor your credit. Make it a habit to check your credit report to keep track of your credit utilization. You can access your credit report for free from the major credit bureaus once a year. Ensure that all the information is accurate and if you spot any errors, dispute them immediately. Keep an eye on your credit limits. Understanding your credit limits is essential. When you receive a credit card or loan, take note of the exact limit. It's worth noting that some credit cards may increase your limit over time, so keep an eye out for those updates. Always pay your bills on time. Timely payments not only help maintain a good credit score, 
but they also contribute to lower credit utilization by paying your bills in full. And on time, you can ensure that your credit card balances remain low. So spread out your credit card usage. Instead of relying heavily on a single credit card, consider spreading your purchases across multiple cards. This can help keep your utilization rate low on each card and increase your overall available credit. Avoid frequent credit applications. Applying for multiple credit cards or loans within a short period can negatively impact your credit score. Try to limit credit applications to when it's truly necessary to avoid unnecessary inquiries on your credit report. In conclusion, paying attention to your credit utilization is key to maintaining a healthy credit score. By keeping your credit utilization low, regularly monitoring your credit, paying bills on time, and being mindful of your credit limits, the right track towards financial stability. Remember, getting credit utilization right is a journey, but with the right knowledge and habits. Secure a solid financial future. Are you looking to improve your credit score? One key factor to consider is optimizing your credit Utilization, understanding how to effectively manage the amount of credit you use, can have a significant impact on your credit worthiness credit. Utilization refers to the percentage of available credit that you are using. It is a crucial component of your credit score calculation. Lenders and credit bureaus use this information to assess your ability to handle credit responsibly. To optimize your credit utilization, there are a few key steps you can take. Firstly, aim to keep your credit utilization ratio below 30%. This means that you should not use more than 30% of your available credit at any given time. For example, if you have a credit card with a $10, keeping your credit utilization lower demonstrates responsible credit management and can have a positive impact on your credit score. Secondly, it's crucial to consistently monitor your Credit utilization ratio, stay aware of your current balances and track your credit card statements regularly. By doing so, you can proactively manage your credit usage and make adjustments as needed. Remember, the lower your credit utilization ratio, the better it is for your credit score. Another effective strategy is to evenly distribute your credit card balances across multiple accounts. Instead of maxing out one card, consider spreading your balances across multiple cards. This diversification of debt can demonstrate your ability to handle multiple lines of credit responsibly, potentially boosting your credit worthiness. Additionally, if you have existing credit card debt, consider paying it down systematically. Lowering your outstanding balances can significantly improve your credit utilization ratio and positively impact your credit score. By developing a repayment plan and consistently making payments, you can gradually reduce your debt and optimize your credit utilization. Finally, be mindful of your credit card spending habits. Avoid unnecessary or impulsive purchases that could lead to higher credit card balances. Instead, try to use your credit cards for essential expenses that you can comfortably repay each month. This responsible spending behavior can help keep your credit utilization ratio in check and improve your credit score over time. In conclusion, optimizing your credit utilization is vital for improving your credit scores. By keeping your credit card balances low, monitoring your credit utilization ratio, distributing balances wisely, paying down existing debt, and maintaining responsible spending habits. You can proactively work towards achieving a better credit score. Remember, small changes in your credit utilization can result in significant improvements in your overall credit worthiness. Are you looking for effective strategies to reduce your credit utilization? Look no further, we've got you covered with tried and tested methods that can help you tackle this issue head on. By implementing these strategies, such as paying down debt and increasing credit limits, you'll be on your way to financial freedom. Let's start with paying down debt. One of the most impactful ways to reduce your credit utilization is by diligently paying off your outstanding debts. Begin by creating a realistic and manageable payment plan. Take a close look at your budget and identify any areas where you can cut back on expenses to allocate more funds towards debt repayment. By making consistent and timely payments, you'll gradually lower your credit utilization ratio and in turn improve your credit score. On paying off your high interest debts first, by targeting these debts aggressively, you can save money on interest 
charges in the long run. Towards these debts, as you eliminate high interest debt, you'll have more financial flexibility to allocate towards reducing your overall credit utilization. To increase your credit limits. By doing so, you'll automatically lower your credit utilization ratio. To achieve this, reach out to your credit card issuers and request a credit limit increase. Explain your intention to reduce such as consistent on-time payments and a low level of outstanding debts. Many credit card issuers are willing to accommodate, especially if you have a positive credit history. However, it's important to exercise caution when increasing credit limits. It's crucial to avoid using the additional credit, not as an opportunity for overspending. Remain diligent in your efforts to pay down existing debt while utilizing the increased credit limit responsibly. In summary, reducing your credit utilization is possible through strategic approaches such as paying down debt and increasing credit limits. By creating a payment plan, focusing on high interest debts and making timely payments, you'll steadily lower your credit utilization ratio simultaneously by requesting credit limit increases. All right, let's recap what we've covered today. Credit utilization is more than just a number, it's a powerful tool that can make or break your credit score. By keeping your utilization low, ideally below 30%, you're signaling to lenders that you're a responsible borrower. And remember, it's not just about reducing debt, but also strategically managing your credit limits. So, take a moment today to review your credit cards and balances and put these tips into action. Your future self and your credit score will thank you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Being Financially for more tips on mastering your money. Until next time, stay financially savvy.